Happy New Year. It's 2013, January 1st, and this is our first XR tutorial for the new year. And we're going to be going over in Lesson 73, a new feature in XR Web Designer MX Premium version 8. And that new feature is the ability to create a custom bulleted list. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to your toolbar and select the rectangle tool and go ahead and draw a small rectangle in your workspace. Keep in mind we're making a bulleted list so you don't need your objects to be really big. And if you haven't already, make sure that in your info bar that the curve corners option is deselected. If it is selected, you'll have a curved rectangle. But in my case, if you look at my rectangle, it has a right angled corner for each side, meaning that it's not curved. So if you do have it like the one I have here, go ahead and make sure you have that object selected and left click it one more time and you should get these curved arrows on the outer side of your rectangle. And if you do have that, hold down the control key and then left click and drag on those curved arrows and kind of twirl it around or rotate it around and you'll see that it's, it snaps at 45 degree points. We want ours to face up towards the upper right hand uh, side of our screen like what you see on my screen here now. And once you have it facing at that angle, go ahead and left click it and hit control C to copy and then hit control, control shift and V and that's going to make an exact copy on top. Again, that's control shift and V. Don't hit it twice. You only need to do that once. And once you make an exact copy on top of that first copy, um, let's go ahead and flip it horizontally. And I'm sorry if that came out wrong. You only should have made one copy. Uh, there's not two copies. I know I just said something that could have made it sound like you should make two copies, but you're only making one copy of the original um, rectangle that we created. So you should have two uh, rectangles each facing the opposite direction, which would give you this image of sort of an X on the screen. So with one of these rectangles, we're going to move it over until it lines up to create kind of a V. I usually hold down the control key and then left click and drag to the left or right as that somewhat locks it in position. Um, it's not perfect, but you know, for me it works well enough um, where it will keep things usually locked in place. But you should have something similar to a V in your workspace. And then on the right hand side of this V, we're going to double left click and drag that rectangle outward to kind of create a checkbox. So you should have something like that. And I'm actually going to make mine a little bit shorter because I think that's a little bit too big still. So when you have something like this on your screen, go ahead and left click and drag around that and select both objects and hit control G. And that's going to make it into one object and you'll notice that now you can move that object around the screen and then both objects stay together and it's one complete checkbox. The next thing that we're going to do is go back to our um, toolbar here and select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in our workspace. After you draw that rectangle, go ahead and go to your info bar and set the curved corners to be turned on. And now you should have a curved corner rectangle in your workspace. And let's go ahead and go to our color editor in the lower left hand corner of our screen and give it whatever color you prefer. I'm going to make mine a green. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to drag that rectangle so that it's over um, that checkbox that we made. And then go to your range menu. And we're going to go to the option that says put to back. And we're going to put that object to the back of um, the other object so that you have the, the checkbox on top. So let's go ahead and select the checkbox and make sure that in your color editor that you have the local fill color option set as the one that we're going to change and then let's set that to white and it will look something like what I have here on screen. And you can make adjustments to this if you want. If you feel the checkbox is too big, still you can make that a little bit smaller and then um, you can select the the square make that a little bit smaller and maybe make it about that size and then I'm gonna go ahead and left click and drag around both of those objects and hit control G again to group both of them together and then you'll notice that we can move both of those objects around without them um, being separated and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller actually to be more realistic like a bullet point now let's go back to our toolbar here and select the text tool 
and draw a text box and hit control shift L and we're going to do that a couple times just twice should be sufficient and then this is an important step because if you don't do this the next thing will not work so with this text box selected go ahead and hit control A to select all the text and then in our info bar we're going to go to the option that says create or remove a bulleted list and we're going to left click on that to create a bulleted list again I repeat if you do not do this the next step will not work so it's very important that you have this bulleted list created like the generic one that they have when you create a bullet list so after you do that let's go ahead and select our um, selection tool and then select the bulleted icon that we created hit control C to make a copy and then go ahead and left click on this text and if you right click on it actually you need to double left click on it first and then if you right click on it you'll get an option that says paste as, as list bullet so let me show you that one more time if you only select it once because this is important too and you try to right click on it you won't have an option oh I'm sorry you will have it it didn't show it the first time so I thought maybe it wasn't working in that manner but okay either way it doesn't matter so if you left click on this text and you right click it and you'll see an option that says paste as list bullet if you left click that it will apply that custom bulleted list that we just created as you can see and it keeps everything together if we were to add more information to this document and hit enter and start typing you know random data in or if you hit control shift L um, it'll paste in additional information so that's how you create a custom bulleted list I hope this tutorial was helpful uh, if you have any questions you know feel free to send me a message on YouTube um, you know subscribe and bed give us thumbs up give us suggestions for new tutorials that you might like to see uh, that kind of thing so I hope you enjoyed your your new year and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for uh, watching me uh, train you on the Xara software have a great day